Jumadip su ye, suk sabajithe. That means hello, grandma. How are you doing today? And this is the same proper greeting I always give my grandma. She then opened the door, then let me in, and I fell right into her arms like I was stumbling straight into a bundle of clouds. Can you imagine how heaven that sounds? The sense of safety and comfortability right there in your grandmother's arms. As I rested my head on her shoulders, I caught this familiar smell of monkey bomb. And I knew at that very moment, I was safe with my grandma. I then caught a glimpse of her mouth chewing some sort of tobacco that made her teeth stain red. In Khmer, we call this malu. It's a compound of areca nuts and a spread of slaked lime, then wrapped around on beetle leaves that you can chew for a very long time. My grandma says it makes you feel alive and brand new, but I wouldn't try it though if I was you. And that bit of taste turned into something so sweet. She invited a smell that was really warm and free. She then proceeded to give me a kiss on the cheek. I'm talking about the one where she pushes her nostrils up against your cheek. And you think it to yourself, oh God, I just hope I don't reek. And so I don't speak and neither does she. She suddenly takes a deep breath in. Followed by a deep breath out. As if she was in deep meditation with full concentration, a wonderful moment. I felt the energy of my ancestors permeate within me. This is culture. This is Cambodia. Live through the nostrils of my grandmother.